it's Brittany and today I'm going to talk about how I tab my books. I haven't always tabbed my books but recently I decided I wanted to get in the habit of doing it because I wanted to keep record of certain things in books or quotes and things like that so I wanted to come up with a tabbing system. When I decided I wanted to tab my books I needed to figure out how many colors I wanted, what exactly I wanted to tab. So I first watched a bunch of videos on here on booktube about how other people tabbed their books to figure out, you know, what did other people find important, what did I kind of want to tab, and so then I wrote out a whole list of things that I wanted to tab, and from that list I decided I needed these seven colors. I use the pretty typical tabs that you see here on booktube a lot, they're the seven colors, and they come in two shapes, the arrow shape and the rectangular shape. A lot of other booktubers use these exact same tabs. I prefer the arrow shape. It kind of just helps me know exactly where I'm meaning to tab something. But these work just as well. And then I assigned a certain topic or feeling or something to each color of the tab. And I made myself a little cheat sheet. So when I was first getting to learn my system, I would put this cheat sheet in the book, in the front of the books so that I would know, okay, well I want to tab this, what is it, what color, and but now I know a little bit better my system, so I just kind of have it out. I don't really need to keep it in the books anymore. So I'm going to explain my system to you guys. So I have lumped the two purples together because I use these pretty often, and so I need the, both of them, or else I would have to buy so many tabs just for the purple alone. So the two purple colors are quotes or well-written passages or something that's thought-provoking or something that I just want to remember. The blue one is sad or all the feels, something that just it hits me right in the heart or a sad moment in a book. The green is angry, anything that makes me angry, anything about the world, anything that goes on in the book, or if a character makes me angry or anything like that that just, just means angry. And yellow is a plot point or anything that I think is important in the book or anything related to the book that I want to remember. Like if a certain character has a trait or something that I want to remember, I would tab it with the yellow. The orange is humor, so a funny, sarcastic, or witty line, or a scene that's funny, or anything that just makes me laugh out loud. And pink is the romantic moments or the heartwarming moments, so pink can either be like relationship or familial love or just something that is very sweet between the characters, anything like that. This is what I have associated with all of these colors. And I want to show you, you know, exactly what I tab using my Mistborn book, The Final Empire, because I tabbed the crap out of this book and it's got every single color, so I think that this is a good one. So if it is just a line or a passage or something, I tab it on the sides. Or if it's the whole page I want to remember, just like a huge scene or something, then I will tab the top of the book. And this one I tabbed the back because it's got like a reference guide to the powers. And so when I was first going through and learning about all the magic and stuff, I would reference this a lot and I wanted to make sure that I could get to it quickly so it didn't take too much time from my reading. So I tabbed the top so that I could just flip to it really quickly. So we'll go from the top down. So this is a quote from one of the characters in the book that says, That depends. The right belief is like a good cloak, I think. If it fits you well, it keeps you warm and safe. The wrong fit, however, can suffocate. It's talking about different religions and beliefs and faith in here, and I just really loved that quote about faith and how when you find the right faith for you, it really fits. So I wanted to remember that. I have other purple quotes in here that I really like, but they're more about the world and characters, and um, saying them would kind of be a little spoiler, spoilery, and since I really want you guys to read this book, I'm not going to give away any of those. So the next is the blue moments. Um, there may, I may not be able to say a blue moment without spoiling things. This is Ven thinking to herself in this moment that's kind of sad, and this scene kind of just crushed me. Of course he abandoned you. Everyone will betray you, Ven. I tabbed a um, passage where Vin watches a young boy get killed, and that made me really angry, especially because he got killed just because he was of 
lower class and lower born and having been watched that was just really anger inducing and so I tapped that a little bit over halfway through the book Ben is talking to another character about the difference between allomancers and furrow furrow chemists and so I tab that as important because it does play a part into the book at the beginning when I was first learning the magic I tabbed that they have to burn a metal to use the magic so it's overall just like things that are important to the book important to the magic system things like that humor there is a lot of humor in here this is one of my favorites Dachshund raised an eyebrow, how do you accidentally kill a nobleman in his own mansion? With a knife and hit the chest, Kelsier said lightly, or rather a pair of knives in the chest. It always pays to be careful. So there's a lot of orange, if you can see, um, because this book just has a lot of one-liners and witty comments. The last one is the pink tab, which is, and here is mostly heartwarming. This is Kelsier's thoughts about Ben. He said, however... His compliments had an ulterior motive. He suspected that Ven had spent far too much of her life being told that she was worthless. Perhaps if she had a bit more self-confidence, she wouldn't try to hide so much. And I just thought that was really cute of Kelsier to think about his words to Ven and how they could affect her. So those are my tabs. I also have a notebook that I use to take notes about the book. I have one for my audiobooks and one for my physical books or ebooks because I typically read an audiobook and a physical book at the same time and so I didn't want to have to switch back pages and be confused about my notes so I got two different books. So this is my audiobook one and the audiobooks are a little harder to take notes on because I listen when I'm in the car and I can't take notes there and I listen on walks and I can't take notes while I'm walking and then I'll be doing chores around the house and I'll have to stop and things like that. So the audiobook notes are a little bit less extensive in except for in the case of Nevermore because I took 14, 14 pages worth of notes for that book. So at the top of the page it has the name of the book and when I started reading it and when I finished reading it and my star rating and if it's book one of a series I'll write book one and then I take notes about characters or plot points and then if I'm listening to an audiobook I'll write down quotes that I enjoyed um, or questions I have about the book or is there something that I want answered any important details that I think are going to be necessary for me to understand or if it's the first book any that will be important for the other books especially if I'm reading it like a year before the other ones come out so in this one I wrote down how the trials work who Morgan is who Jupiter is what Nevermore is, what the Wonder Society is. I also wrote a whole page down about how Nevermore's Christmas celebrations work because I absolutely loved them. So I wrote them down. I wrote important details about the world down. Things like that. So that's what I write down in my notebook and that's how I tab my books. Tabbing isn't for everyone, but if you think that you want to tab, I would suggest watching other videos as well just so you can get a wide range of ideas for what you want to tab. Or if you're currently reading a book, think about what piques your interest in the book, what you would consider tabbing in that book, and go from there. Figure out how many color tabs you need, and then make yourself a little system and a cheat sheet when you're first starting out. I think these things are really important. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me in the comments if you tab your books, what do you tab in your books, what do you think is important. Don't forget my social media links are down in the description below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the bookish content that I put out. I will see you guys next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.